Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to use conditional formatting for a specific item or items from a calculation group. Calculation groups are an awesome new Power BI feature that allows easier code maintenance by creating a so-called placeholder calculation items that can change the filter context of any measure that we, that we provide as an input. Since the moment they were introduced in Tabular, I was very eager to check them in action from within the Power BI data model and now that is a possibility. So in our data model, we have three tables. Two of them are just a regular Power BI data model tables. And the third one is a calculation group. Now let's go to Tabular Editor external tool. And if we expand tables, we will see that this is a calculation group, which consists of multiple calculation items. And they are all there with a single purpose, and that is to change the original filter context of the measure that we provide as an input. So any measure that enters this calculation item will change its filter context and will become quote to date or year to date and those variations. So let's add this time intelligence calculation group or calculation column to a visual, we will add it to a matrix visual. And let's add total quantity. And let's add brand as a row, play, row filter. And let's remove uh, subtotals from column. So as we can see, we have multiple calculation items that are being shown in the columns area of the matrix visual. And we have only a single calculation, which is total quantity. And it consists of a pretty simple uh, calculation, which is only the sum of that column, of the sales quantity column. But when put in the values field of the matrix visual, it changes its behavior based on the calculation items that we provided in the column. So although this is a simple sum function, it changes its, beha its behavior in the visual according to calculation items. So far so good, we have our calculation group running and showing the correct results. And now we will focus on our mission of this video and that is to show how to apply conditional formatting to a single item or items from within the mat matrix table. So if we go to conditional formatting option and we choose to use font color, we can see that it is being applied to every single cell in this table. So you cannot choose on which calculation item this condition will be applied, it can only be applied to either every, col every column or every calculation item or none. So with this out of the box solution, we cannot change a certain calculation item condition. But what we can do, we can help us ourselves with additional measures. So let's create two additional measures. First one will be called uh, condition apps and the way and the function uh, and the measure for this function will be if selected value uh, periods in and we will use the square brackets and we will write what to date this year versus last year. This is one value. And the other value is year to date uh, this year versus last year. Let's close the curly brackets. And if this evaluates to true, then we want to return total, quant total quantity. And if this evaluates to false, we want to return blank. Now, what does this expression mean? It means that if the selected item is selected calculation item in the visual corresponds to either quantity this year versus last year name or year to date this year versus last year name, then it will return the total quantity, then it will return the figure, otherwise it will return blank. 
And as we know, blank is being ignored when we do conditional format. So that means that all the other columns will be ignored if we use this measure as a conditional formatting option. So now let's go to advanced controls of the font color. And let's change this to rule. And as we can see at the moment, the, this rule is being based on total quantity measure. And total quantity measure is returning values for every single cell in this table. But what we want to do is that we want to change this to change this measure to condition apps. And now let's just add conditions. So if, if, if it's from minus nine, some big number to zero, then we want to add a red, a red background. And if it is from zero number to some big number, then we want to return a green format. And the green format is uh, 0, 0, 9, 9, 0, 0. Okay. And after we confirm, now we can see that only quarter to date this year versus last year and year to date columns are formatted, conditionally formatted. All the other columns are kept intact. Now we can do another condition for icons. We, as we can see at the moment, every column is being formatted, but we will add another measure. We will call this a condition percentage and we will do the same procedure if selected value of the periods, so the column from the calculation group is in quarter to date percent change or year to date, oops, sorry, or year to date percent change, then we wish to return total quantity, otherwise we want to return blank. And now let's head to our icons advanced editor. And this time we will change this total quantity to be based on condition percentage. We will change this style to arrow pointing. We'll change all these figures to a number. And then let's go from minus big number to minus 0 0.02. And then from minus 0 0.02 to 0 0.02. And from 0 0.2 to some big number, we want this green error. So basically we want to say that if the values are in the range of plus minus 2% change, then the, the, this is considered as a stable trend. Everything below is red, everything above is green. And after we confirm, so we can see that this condition is based on, on, on uh, condition apps, uh, condition percentage uh, measure. So when we confirm, we will see that now the conditions are applied only to the calculation items that we want. And as an additional tip, we can use this time intelligence calculation group or calculation column from uh, or column from the calculation group to create a slicer from that. And now we can choose, okay, let's add, let's change so that we can choose multiple values. And now, whichever value we choose from this slicer is going to appear in the table below. And as we can see, the formatting, the conditional formatting is kept preserved. So if we add year to date, it will appear with the condition format. So this is how you can currently apply conditional formatting only to a certain calculation item. I hope that in the future this will be implemented on a calculation item level. But at the meantime, you can use this trick to push a conditional formatting only to a certain calculation item from the group. 
Hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please uh, hit like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please post them down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.